What's up? What's up? Glad Still we got on. you. Man, what's going on, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Feeling okay. good. Feeling good. I'm move it to the side so I can catch out the chef one more time, man. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> the I background. Oh, man, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Hey, money. So dope, man. Hey, Chris, man, we're so glad to have you. Uh, I want to say on the show, I don't even know what this is, Kev. We'll <laughs> whatever, whatever we got going on, man. Really glad to have you. Yeah, um, you. And we've been trying. I know we've been trying to connect for a couple of weeks here, and yeah. um, so glad we things finally settled down. And uh, we have the captain of the 2019 <laughs> Granddaddy Team THP. Mm. Uh, Man, you're in for a wild ride, dude. Does that like, sound I great yet? It, 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 yes, it sounds great. Um, yeah, you know, I'd be lying if I said I didn't like daydream about being on the team. You know, ever since I followed the first granddaddy, but I don't think I ever thought that the captain part of it would be in front of me being on it. You know, and so that like it's just been a total uh, reset of you know thinking about what it might be like and you know visions of what might go down when you're there it just it changes a little bit you know because there's this like added element of um duties and responsibilities but still soaking it all in at the same time um huge huge thank you to mike g who has already like said ten thousand times to me I'm here to make it so that you don't have to like worry about that stuff. You know, that's my job is so that you can focus on it and have fun with it. So it feels awesome. But I mean, I think about it maybe 25, 30 times a day, you know, just pop into my head or I'll like jot a little note down real quick about I should think about doing that or yeah. So it's been awesome. Yeah, yeah, man, I will say the, the addition of the uh, the assistant captain was a huge, um, huge move for the entire event. Um, and, and to to Mike's point, we talked about this before. You want the captain to be able to be the captain, but you also want him to be able to be a participant. So um, that's pretty dope, man. And I saw you've been going back, like I, you've been tracking through the threads. You went back to the original um, OG, that is the OG thread, man. <laughs> so so what 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 things have you seen, man, that have got you really excited about December? You know, uh, it, it's been interesting to like track how the granddaddy has evolved over the years. You know, if you go back and read that very original one, it was like, you know, we're going to beat you down. No, we got you all this trash talking. And, and I mean, the trash talking certainly still exists in a way, but it's become so much more about camaraderie and, and you know, lifting up the event and the experience and the uniqueness of it. So um, that's been kind of cool to see like how it's changed uh, over the years. I want to go back and read every post from every granddaddy live update thread. You know, that's part of what I want to do. But right now what I'm actually doing is going back in every um, ship show podcast that's available. I'm listening to those so that I can kind of get to know the granddaddy guys on the Callaway side, you know, who does what, what their personalities are like. Um, I've never been in an event with Callaway. I've only mm-hmm. interacted like very minimally on, you know, social media or on the forum with those guys. So I don't really know what I'm, you know, in for uh, with those guys. So kind of want to get to know that before I jump in there. Yeah, those those guys, I mean, take, you listen to them on the podcast and you hear how great they are on that. Take that yeah. times about 100 mm-hmm. and you're getting close to, to what to expect. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah, good. literally, like you set your expectation what feels like here. Sure. And then when you get there, you realize that it was actually here. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. so much bigger, man. Yeah. I mean, this is actually the shirt off of Luke's back, man. So <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Gosh, I hope I really <laughs> hope you watch like, that. Like that? <laughs> just want to so, smell his smell. Yeah, no, I've watched it. Trust me, I've watched it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm really excited for you, man. So I, you know, I, I know I have a couple questions for you that I wanted to ask, but I want to give Kev an opportunity because I usually just run off and um start talking, man. So um, yeah, what do you have for Yeah, so so you're reading through these these threads a little bit, the old ones, and of course you haven't read through all of them yet. It'll take you weeks to go through all that, but um, as the captain, what are you, we can talk about what you're most excited about, but what are you most nervous about as a mm. captain? A couple things, um, probably first and foremost, the nerves, you know, I don't want to make it sound like it's got me up at night, but having been in a few events over the years, um, I don't know that there's one I can look back on and I felt like I did it a hundred percent the right way. 
um, there, and, and not like I did anything wrong, but like maybe I felt like I connected really well with the guys in the event, like at the handcrafted experience. I felt like I really connected with those guys there. But on the forum side, maybe I didn't quite take enough pictures or, you know, videos or whatever um, while I was there. It's so hard. Like until you're in an event, you know, for anybody that's watching this that hasn't been in one, it's so hard to like be present in the moment and soak it right. in and bring the forum with you for me it's like one or the other if there's an event that i don't want to screw up and like i don't want to have a regret when i leave it's the granddaddy right so that's got me a little bit nervous when i look at what you guys did um it, it was unbelievable you know you guys uh, brought everybody on so well together but also connected with each other so that's like one of if not the the peaks of like the example that i want to kind of follow with how to do that other side of, of being nervous, just making sure that the guys gel, you know, and the guys get out of this, what, what they want to get out of it, what Callaway wants to get out of it. Um, I don't know how to do that part of it. I'm kind of hoping that it just kind of like has like an epiphany while I'm there. Um, There's some things I'm doing now to kind of try to think through that. But at the same time, I just want to make sure that, you know, everybody gels the way that they need to. And there's no guy that's like on the sidelines feeling like he's left out and you know or, or uh, that's just the kind of thing that i'm kind of nervous about if that makes sense yeah absolutely yeah well you guys are off to a good good start big sky irish is a great guy yeah really yep. awesome mike yeah, is not the great things about him yeah mike is i mean awesome so you guys are starting out strong and i think yeah. that we may be finding out pretty soon because we had a, another contest and it closed so yeah. I don't know uh, when we're gonna gonna get a new member, but uh, it's always exciting. Uh, you know, it's it's awesome when you get that PM, but at the same time, like when you find out who the next guy is that's coming with you, um, yeah. it's a different kind of excitement. But it's a huge, it's a yeah. huge excitement to see who that is. It was awesome. Yeah, and the cool thing about it is going back to what you said earlier, as far as the engagement piece, man. A lot of that has to do with the personalities on the team, mm -hmm. right? So. Like, you know, for a good example, Kev and I both did, um, like, end-of-day videos. Yeah. Neither one of us talked about that at all. It's just we mm -hmm. just had, a, yeah. you know, that type of squad that, um, you know, was really gelled and kind of thinking the same things and trying to figure out how do we make this engagement uh, different than it has been in the past. Not necessarily better or worse, but just different, sure. you know. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, you know, it was it was a uh, kind of our our way of finding something creative to do that would be a little fun. And at the same time, it's not hard. Like literally, mm -hmm. your excitement is so over the top. Uh, you know, I was talking to AJ uh, the day after I posted my first video. He was like, "Dude, that video was incredible." I was literally just like sitting down, hitting record, <laughs> and <my> brain exploded. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, yeah. Video. And so it's it's not. Um, I think it's just the event is so over the top and so overwhelming. And so when you've got a good group of guys, which I feel like you guys have already started off really well, and and um, and you got Mike G kind of at the helm, you know, helping steer with you. Yeah. You guys will be fine, man. Um, yeah. But personalities on the squad really do make a huge difference. Yeah, he, it, Mike G has said that a bunch of times already. You know, it's not rocket science. You know, don't overthink it. Um, just kind of let it let it happen and enjoy the ride. Uh, that's not really my personality. <laughs> I don't want to plan right. everything. I don't want to get it perfect. Um, but uh, that'll definitely be the challenge. And he's done such a good job already kind of reining that in and being like, all right, I mean, that's one good idea, but maybe you could think about this instead. Yep. So, yeah, he's doing awesome. Yeah. 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 So have you, as you've been going through um, or as you followed the, the granddaddies in the past, what have you most enjoyed about following along with them? I think one of the, the granddaddies I followed along that I felt like I kind of got the excitement was the year before we won. Um, so I think that was, who was the captain of that one? Maybe that was, James, maybe J-Man, I think. I think um, oh. J-Man and then Canada, I think. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah, but, but one. and that was, I think, Philly V's year too. Because I remember Philly V right. that year, his post, his excitement, his passion mm -hmm. for it. That's when I was like, oh my, what is this thing? You know, and, right. and that's really when it kind of like, that's this thing is amazingly special. And then the next year, when it came down to the wire and, you know, we won it, um, that was pretty fantastic. Now, that was the competition part. But since then, and, you know, as cool as that was, seeing people go through the fittings, the gear. I mean, you guys had like a unicorn year last year, right? Like oh, everything that was released <laughs> was bonkers. It wasn't like one amazing thing. It was all the things. And so, that you know, <laughs> that, that, was, that blew me away last year. So it's almost like every year. Not to it into anybody, but best release ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. Period. Ever. It's not. Know, it's not. We'll find out this year. Walk in the other room. 
and look in my bag before I go to bed every night yeah. and just <laughs> like before I flick off the light, I'm sitting there like <laughs> it's crazy, man. That like literally, so I I mean I'm not doubting that uh Callaway can, you know, outdo themselves again, but this 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 uh release was so jam-packed from e literally every club that was released, even the stuff like I didn't expect the the um the big birth irons to be as phenomenal as they were. Mm -hmm. I remember hitting uh the seven iron. Um I wasn't even even gonna consider them, wasn't even looking at them. I hit the seven iron, I hit two of them thin, third one I flushed, and I literally just started giggling. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. So yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that face that we're all so familiar with. Yeah. Side of the face. <laughs> Speaking of, so I, I want to throw you in the hot seat for a couple seconds. So I want to I want to play a quick game of of this or that. Okay. Um, and uh, so it's just going to kind of be rapid fire questions, and and uh, so we can get a get to know you a little bit and see what you think. So, real quickly, burgers or hot dogs? Burgers. All right. Cold weather, or warm weather. Warm weather. Okay. Oh, just checking, making sure. Right. What? Just making sure for Kev. <laughs> what? Country or rock music? Rock. Right. All right, mallet or blade? Uh, blade to look at, mallet to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blade to look at, mallet to play. All right, Finley or AJ? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I'll make a choice. Uh, Finley. Finley, yeah. All right, all right. All right. I can't blame you there. Long <laughs> iron or hybrid? Hybrid. Sweet. Spicy or mild? Spicy. Last question. Breakfast sliders or breakfast sliders? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong, man. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Sweet, man. I think uh, I think um AJ AJ is uh is ready to settle that debate, man. He's working on getting ready because I think a lot of people are leaning Finley. Mm. Uh, Mm. So <laughs> it's just hard to bet against Finley, man, because he really only gets up for competition. Like he, if it's not competitive, you might or might not get his best. But if it's competitive, he might go out there and shoot a sixty-five, man. You just never know. So I, I, I held off on make being making any comments to Finley, like any cocky type of comments, because we we won our first match against him. We were, I right. think, up one going into sixteen. And I made, or no, up to going into 16 or something. I made a little cocky comment to him, and they ended up winning the match. He stuck a <laughs> he stuck a long iron to like two feet on the 18th hole to win the match. Yeah. One comment. <laughs> and it like flicked the switch off. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, he literally, that's why, that's why, like when he was talking about um in my contest, he was talking about, you know, I was too nice. I was like, I'm riding that train all the way home, dude. Like, <laughs> I can leave the bear asleep, man. Yeah, just, that's right. I hope, man, we're just going to chill and see what happens. But <laughs> it, at the same time, it's fun, man. I love seeing the guys um, get uh, get up to play and, and uh, actually, like, putting out against, I think it was uh, Raj and um, Boater. I think that took that took them down or have that last match. I think they might either won or have that last match, but they were knocking down crazy long putts. Yeah. And uh and Finley was hot, man. <laughs> so <laughs> that was the fun part, man. Just seeing seeing it all unfold. I just want to sit here his trash talk game. I heard that it is second to none. It's yeah. not even close to anybody else out there. It's just <laughs> he's so quick. It's literally yeah. it's funny because like Harry is the quick with a guy, but it's all like comedy and like dry humor, and he just hits you so quick. You're 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 trying to figure out what to say next, and he's already on to the next one. And uh, family is like the other other side of the spectrum, but it's just a hint of mean. So yes. like, Finley's <laughs> comments still will just quick, but Finley's it's just comments will sting. Like Harry's, <laughs> it's funny. You're going to you're going to laugh your butt off. Right. Finley's, right. it's like it hurts a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah. So do Does you have? Do you like have anybody feeling on the bus? And we had we we were trying to we had uh you know come together and put captains flags together for uh for um uh why am I going blank Phil and um and Frank yeah. and so I was all excited we had planned everything got the second flag there and I'm uh, you know pulling them out to give to the guys and Finley reaches up into the cabinet pulls out literally the same flag and like 
how do you how do you one up somebody that has planned <laughs> something for like three or four months, man? It's just it was just crazy. He pulls out flags. They're already signed by you know a bunch of the guys. Yeah, I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's that guy. So he's why that AJ? So that's the argument for Finley. Why AJ? So I uh, feel like AJ is a wild card because you literally do not know. Like AJ could come out and literally just blaze the course. He's a long hitter, um, and he could just have a great day. And, you know, Finley's had off days too, man. Um, so you really don't know. Um, and AJ apparently is, from what I understand, he listened to the, some of the ship shows, his yeah, issue yeah. has really been alignment. It's not like his ball striking. It's literally just – aiming the wrong direction so he like figures that out. three fairways to the right isn't he something like right, that right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a bullet it's not a it's not a fade it's a yeah. push so um like he figures that out and all of a sudden you got a different handicap guy you're playing mm. so, yeah yeah that's, so that's you have, interesting do you have somebody from the zoo crew you're excited to meet or any uh, multiple people that you're most excited for uh, yo, Dean Evs, um, if he's gonna, right. yep, I'd love to meet him, uh, on the ship show. I really like it when he's on there. He seems pretty awesome. Um, Harry, I don't know how much time we get, you know, to be around Harry, but you know, he's, he seems hilarious and I love to kind of pick the brain of, you know, some of the brains behind, you know, the, right. the operation, the guy that's, that's driving that ship. Um, in my job, I kind of have to be in charge of some teams and getting people kind of doing those kind of things. So I love to pick the brain of people who are super successful at how to do that, but how to keep it really fun and keep the culture, uh, you know, moving in the right direction. So love to be around him. Uh, trying to think who else, Tyler, uh, uh here he hits a long ball. <laughs> yeah. Just watch him hit. That's all you need to do. I, yeah. Like, I promise you, I literally was watching some of his, uh, I, I had video from the grand and I was list. I was watching his wedge work today. Cause he's yeah. so clean. It's, it's unreal, man. So yeah. yeah. Who else should I be on the lookout for? Luke is probably the funniest guy there, and okay. it's it's not he, he's hilarious, but he's like all dry humor. He will crack the funniest joke and like keep a straight face the whole time. Okay. So um, he's a blast, man. Really, the whole crew was was amazing. Um, I didn't Clark. expect to, get to meet Doc, so oh, yeah. that was cool getting to see get, sit down with him and just hear he's super intelligent, mm -hmm. uh, obviously very sharp and perceptive, and. Um, seeing how forward thinking uh, he is beyond the releases that we're currently seeing, like they're literally, you know, faces into the future. Um, and even beyond the stuff that they were able to share to us with, with, with us, but they were pretty candid, but yeah. still, you know, there's, I mean, this it's, is like, this is tier one secret stuff, like G14 class. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll tease you enough. They'll tease What's you that? enough to really get your your interest peaked. And it's right. like, I want to know more. I know you can't tell me more, but I right. really want to know more. Yeah. yeah. We started getting to the juicy part. He was like, oh, well, lunch is over. <laughs> yeah, but um, that was really cool meeting him. And, of course, man, uh, Roger Cleveland. I know he's not on the zoo crew, but, like, literally walking, watching him walk into breakfast, like a living legend. You know, um, was was incredible to me. Yeah. Was just, he there it, when you guys had your your fitting? Was he not there? Oh, he was not there for that part. He was there at the course on day one. Uh, okay. But just a fantastic guy, yeah. um, really welcoming. You never know, you know, when you meet some of these um, golf celebrities, how laid back they're going to be. But um, he was as cool as any of the golf, uh, the the zoo crew guys, and. Um, just really receptive and really wanted to help. So that was uh, just really a humbling experience for me. And um, man, Mr. Sean Toulon, dude. I was like going to say, following dude, the Odyssey event him. last year. Jeez. Yeah. Dude, he is the coolest man in golf, hands down. Yeah. Like, it's not it's not close. He's the coolest man in golf. And I could sit and listen to him talk golf for hours. Yeah. Mm. You know, like you watch the PGA Tour and Freddie Couples seems like he's just like the coolest laid back guy. That's like right. Sean Toulon in the, in the equipment industry. He's just cool. <laughs> just thousand. Like just yeah. injected. Yeah. Like just he oozes swag, dude. It's crazy. And yeah. he's but he really like loves the game and he loves seeing guys like get better. And so mm -hmm. getting out there and, and watching him help guys tune up his putt, their putts, even, um, you know, his uh his sons were in there with us, man. And, and Joe was actually like helping me tweak my alignment because I didn't realize I was aligning left with the open face. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it was just like he was like you know helping me tweak and since then like my putting has been significantly better um, well that's just the total in the triple track no, right that's total and triple yeah. track right there yeah the total is nuts i'm i'm just really i'm really i'm really disappointed more guys have not like really given it a go it's crazy it's a really really good putter man super stable it's yeah. a cool shape yeah uh, oh jeff newbarth enjoyed the heck mm. my round with him he was a good great guy a lot of fun yeah. to play around with so, yeah. pete is okay. super cool too pete is very like pete is a guy who will just give you a bunch of information just talking he loves to talk life and and in and, and general, really, really yeah. nice guy, super nice guy. They tried to nice say we were having the battle of the nice guys. He's, he's <laughs> nice until he's like, it looks like he might lose. And all of a sudden, he turns into the Black Mamba. And uh, it's just, it was not, I, I'll never forget that 45 yard uh, wedge shot. He hit it out of the bunker to like five feet. Shot mm. of the day, it was, <laughs> and I, I was like, I felt like I was like turning the tide on that on that match. No, 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 that was it. That was that was the end of that match. He just wanted you to feel good for a little bit, and then he went ahead and shut the door. He to give me a confidence boost, and <laughs> don't want to leave here feeling bad. So right, yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. All right, so I've got some random questions for you too. Okay, oh, that's interesting. Okay, we're gonna go with the old the old JB question. Hot dog? Do you put ketchup or no? No, it's mustard and onions. Okay. All right. Food related again. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What goes on first, the peanut butter or the jelly? Neither. It's peanut butter and Nutella. Wow. Yeah. No, no peanut butter and jelly. Ever? Like even, even going back to childhood? Uh, definitely not childhood. Poor in college, yes. Uh, <laughs> but now I have a job and that does not need to happen ever again. So, no. Uh, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> what's the uh, what's the best score you've ever shot? Seventy two. Nice. It was with a Latin PGA Tour player here in Orlando at the Grand Cypress New Course uh, that that some of y'all are familiar with, and he shot like a sixty two, and was royally pissed off because I beat him because I like came in with like I don't know what my handicap right. was but I beat him and I mean he was fuming mad but it was the best round of my life I drove the ball terribly but I hit like every green I made every putt nice. oh. awesome. and then I've never sniffed it again <laughs> <laughs> what's your handicap at right now a four from four yeah it's a it's a 4.7 <laughs> and I have not broken 80 in like six rounds um, you know, we were talking about my job a little bit. I don't so get to play a whole lot of golf mm -hmm. in the first four months of the year. So, you know, when you don't play a ton, you throw up a few good scores and that handicap, you know, drops like a rock. Mm -hmm. Getting it back up is hard. You got to play a lot of bad golf to get it back up. And I'm certainly never going to do that on purpose, but I got to, you know, play yeah. enough to find some kind of consistency. Right. Uh, you know, that said, if I go in and I get pencil whipped by every guy on the zoo crew, I don't care. And I'm still at the granddaddy, still having a blast. And, you know, I don't care if I lose every match and get steamrolled. It just does not matter to me. I'm going to try my hardest for sure. That belt looks pretty shiny. Um, but, you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm still going to have a blast the whole time. So. Yeah, I, I promise you, man. Like, literally, obviously, you want to win. Anytime you're playing, you want to win. Um, but it's, it's so far in the peripheral of yeah. everything I remember from the granddaddy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember, I remember seeing some great shots. I remember Luke almost jarring one on the par three um, in front of the waterfall. Phil was back there. We all like flipped out. And we thought we were going to jump in the water. Uh, <laughs> but those, I mean, those are shots that stood out in my mind. But the yeah. golf part of it is just, I mean, it, it's a blast. It's its fun, yeah. but it's just yeah. not at front, the front and center of, of what happens there. So, sure. um, man, you the, the things you remember most are the conversations, the bus rides, the laughs, the... Yeah. I mean, the holy crap, I'm sitting here with a Callaway guy. It's like, it's, it's those moments that stick with you forever, man. Yeah. Well, I'll be honest. You know, one of those moments is seeing the G in my signature right now. I mean, I've been seeing that G so long, and now it's like, oh, that's that's me. That's not somebody else, you know? It's real. Yeah, now yeah. you're part of a pretty special fraternity. Yeah. So, so when you more questions. About, oh, oh, go ahead. Okay. Most embarrassing song that you love? Ooh. Man, uh, yes. I do love me some Taylor Swift. Um, <laughs> not again. all of it. I don't celebrate her entire collection. Uh, just, <laughs> just a few of the radio hits uh, I like you, a lot. That I, means he has like six of her CDs. <laughs> I love the Greatest Showman soundtrack. 
Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I love uh, Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, I love uh, that music. Yeah, uh, I'm not afraid to admit it. Uh, yeah. So okay. I'm sure there's a lot more in there uh, in my playlist that might come out after a couple drinks with Luke. So we'll see what happens. Hey, you gotta don't don't get baited. <laughs> <laughs> By ten o'clock, Luke. <laughs> yeah, man, don't get baited. Um, that's crazy, man. I did not see a few of those coming, but I'm sure we'll have some more surprises along the way. So. That's cool, true. man. True. So, so what other, uh, when you guys are thinking about, um, you know, obviously you've got several more teammates to get. I think we're waiting on another. So we've got the third. So we're waiting on eight more, four, nine more teammates yeah. at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking about guys coming onto the team, obviously, you know, we're not handpicking people, but what are you hoping for? What are you hoping for in, in other guys that are joining the team and, and really what – would make this team outstanding for you? Hmm. So we have a kind of team perspective, I guess, right now. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to talk a lot about that because I don't want anybody to, like, shape their entries right. to anything based on that. Um, I think we've already kind of touched on some of that here in, in this conversation, you know, talking about how, yeah, it, the competition is fun, but, you know, if we get beat down – Oh, well, you know, I mean, we're going to try our hardest, but that's not why we're going out there. Um, right. it's, it's so much more than that. Right. So that's kind of part of this as well. Um, the, the personalities connecting with each other, connecting with the zoo crew, you know, that's huge for us. I think you can see from the first couple contests that have been run. That's a big part of those contests. You know, what, what kind of a teammate are you is the one that recently closed. It's huge. You know, yeah. that that's a huge thing for us to know. So those are the things we're really focused on. It's really more like um, uh, team camaraderie uh, than it is anything else. Like I'm not looking to stack this, you know, have this team stacked with like a bunch of, you know, low digit handicaps or anything like right. that. I don't care about anything like that. If I get a team full of guys that I've never met before, never really interacted that much, that's awesome. You know, yeah. I'm going to have uh, brand new brothers that, that I get to know this whole time. So, um, yeah, th there aren't really that many things that I think – um, are super important, but there are a few things that, that we've got earmarked that, you know, we really hope this team can be. If nothing else, I'm going to say if anybody's kind of looking and seeing, you know, am I going to be a good fit for this team? The last year's team was full of some really great guys that did a lot of really great things um, in the event. So I would think that's a, a recency bias maybe, but it's also, a, to me, a, a great example of, um, you know, that. There are also some guys from other teams as well that stand out. Um, right. So, you know, look back at some of those guys that, that still rep the G and, and love uh, what that event was all about. And that's kind of who we're looking for. Awesome, man. Very yep. nice. Nice. So I have to ask, there's there's another Odyssey event coming up here soon. We're coming up around the corner. Yeah. All right. Last question here. Uh, <laughs> team design or team create? Your boy Mike is sitting on team design with Sean yeah. Odyssey. Then you've got Luke, Tony, and, uh, and yeah, I love me some Mike. I love me some Sean. I don't think that I think it's going to be Luke. I think Luke's going to take it down uh, this time. I think they got the game for it. They got the attitude, but uh, it's going to be a hell of a follow. I'm going to be out there playing golf in one of like the um, uh, days leading up to it, like before the whole thing kicks off. So I'm going to get to meet some of those guys. It's not that far away from where I am here in Orlando. Uh, so be able to meet some of those Sorry. guys and, uh, I'm looking forward to following along with that event. Last year was incredible. You know, that, that event last year was phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Where it yeah, is this year, it's going to be you know, even better. That yeah. was the only event I was even considering for this year. I wanted to go so bad. And then I looked, and it literally fell on my my uh, our anniversary, uh, the day of our anniversary. And I was like, eh. <laughs> uh, Is it worth it? Maybe. <laughs> it would have been worth it. thought about it. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is, um, I didn't realize until this last year that Finley's um, anniversary is always right around the granddaddy. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I was like, man, that is obviously we we don't need to just be thanking Finley. We need to be thanking his wife, <laughs> you know, because um, there's a lot of I mean, there's a lot of women that wouldn't have gone for that. And so obviously it shows how important the event is mm -hmm. to him, um, which is which is phenomenal. Um, I just. I, did, I had no idea. So, like, I was thinking about it this year. I was like, man, how can I pull this off and still stay married? <laughs> should have asked Finley for some tips. I bet That's his right. wife has really nice jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pricey, pricey stuff, man. That's right. Yeah. 
Well, I don't have a whole lot else. What do you have, Clayton? Anything? Yeah. So um, when you think about um, the the event, you've always obviously seen a lot of the post event thoughts, mm -hmm. right? Where guys are reflective and it, and it kind of um, you've seen like a lot of the um, shadow boxes and all those things and things that guys have taken away from the event. You share some of the things that you guys are looking forward to um, going into the event. But are there any things that you've seen guys say they wish they had done that you guys are thinking about making sure you do um, this year? Because there's a lot of uh, threads here and there or in the threads. There's a lot of comments of, man, I should have did this. I should have done that. What are you guys yeah. thinking? The biggest one for me is looking when guys look back and they say, I wish I had taken more time to talk to everybody yeah. on the other team. You know, whether that's on the bus rides, hanging out at the at the range, um, at the dinners, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, you, it's great to make a connection with with a couple people, uh, but but get out there and, and mix it up with everybody um, right. just to, to get a feel for all those different personalities. So I think that's the one looking back that when people say, I wish I had done this or that, that's probably the big one. Uh, right. If Roger Cleveland ends up being uh, at, at the fitting, there is no stopping me from being, uh, you know, going over there and getting him to comment on anything to do with the short game for yeah. me. Um, you can pull I, I will not waste that resource. Don't let, anybody, don't let anybody tell you it's their turn. You got to pull rank on whoever it is. You're <laughs> <That's the answer>. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's on everything. Yeah, yeah, man, we we uh, who was that that took up all Roger's Cle Roger Cleveland's time when we were out there? Frank. That's right. It was Frank and uh and um. I don't know who else he helped with. Who was it, man? I was like literally like over there like putting and hawking like in time. <laughs> I was trying to like creep in there. Um, he was it was Scott Frank and Scott. He spent a bunch of time with Scott on the putting green and just all in the fringe like working on chip shots. And I literally almost wanted to pull a boater and and uh, hit hit Scott with the hosel rockets to go down and I get my turn, man. But you know, yeah, <laughs> didn't work. I want that to happen. And here's the sad part: it didn't help Scott at all. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh man! But the, right. you're you're in for such a treat, dude. Like I literally, I'm telling you, it's it's just it's just hard to to even articulate the vastness of what you're about to face um and what you guys are going to experience and then even just the memories um one of the things we did as a team we we took all of our pictures and consolidated them and so mm -hmm. i've got everybody's pictures man and i go through my phone all the time and my granddaddy thread like yeah. on the rough days at work mm -hmm. like i'm looking at pictures of my family and pictures from the granddaddy <laughs> you know, so. Um, it's just it's it's amazing, um, and I'm I'm really glad that that uh, the granddaddy came back for 2019. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, like we were really really hoping it was coming back because you know, once you go through it, you're like, man, I just hope somebody else can experience this. When I saw the the uh, thread pop up that said it was coming back, like I I I, I kind of teared up, man, because it was just like, man, this is it's it's just that it's just that life changing, man. Yeah. Well, the, I got I got one other thought. You know, you're talking about kind of what we want um, out of this team as well. You know, I'm so excited for it to get here, but I'm trying to commit to the lead up to it and and not like not let it just fly by and wish it away. I mean, I think that there are some great things to experience and to um, uh, just kind of let wash over you in that lead up to it, uh, so that you can you know prepare in whatever way that you need to. Uh, I've been talking to to the mics. Uh, Big Sky and also Mike G about some things that, that they're doing on their end, some things that I'm doing. We're trying to kind of hold each other accountable to that. Uh, and that commitment's going to extend, you know, before, during, and after the uh, event. And like, it's not a hard commitment. It's something that like, I'm really, really excited about, you know, and, and yeah. um, feel, feel blessed by. So, you know, to much, to whom much has been given, much is um, expected as well. So, and it's just a joy to get to do some of those things. So that's another thing that yeah. about the team that I'm hoping that people kind of can digest is is that commitment that I'm I'm looking for uh, and excited about. Yeah. Well, I'll well, tell you, man. For us, the uh, I'm sorry, Kev, I keep cutting you off, man. But um, uh, I think uh, the the uh, journey has been like. Um, the journey really is transcendent, right? So like just getting there to your point, not just rushing those months away, but the fact that we were able to to gradually add guys and go through it together and we were so 
um, tight knit and we communicated along the way made those four days so much more impactful, mm. so much more of a joy to experience because you literally are going through it with brothers in arms. Like you are, these are not guys you just met because you literally spent the last, for me, it was seven, eight months, just, just, um, gelling and, um, kind of even being transparent and allowing, uh, your life to kind of unravel before some of the other guys on, on the squad. And so when you go through it together, like I'm literally, Man, I, I want, like, even when we were playing, I wanted to see the other guys' rounds. Like, I wanted to cheer them on, man. I wanted to get out there. And when I heard about the stuff, I was like, man, I can't believe I missed Kev's flop shot, you know, <laughs> that, that Finley was flipping out about. Like, I, I wanted to see everything, man. And and yeah. so that journey is so critical along the way um, because you literally have four days to experience all of the granddaddy, and then it's all memories, right? Mm -hmm. And so the the weight of those memories is is so much more significant when you enjoy it with people you care about right yeah. um like i've been to vegas one time and i always wanted to go to vegas and i went to vegas for work and i had no friends no family there <laughs> so it was the worst vegas experience <laughs> it was, there was nobody there to enjoy it with yeah. you know so journey is so much more impactful and and um you just feel abundantly blessed when you're going through it with guys that you know really have your back and and you enjoy being around. Yeah. Well, you, hey, you you uh, you asked me about regrets. Y'all got any? Yeah, I do. Um, I wish I had taken more pictures. I mm -hmm. wish I had taken pictures specifically with. Uh, I have a lot of pictures with our squad, but I don't have a lot of pictures with the zoo crew. And um, I really wish I had taken more pictures kind of along the way, like even maybe not so much on the course. I wish I had captured some of those, but in just the meetings, like we're sitting down talking, I like I probably would have looked like a jerk. And that's probably where, you know, you're trying to find a balance. You don't want to just be popping up, you know, taking selfies with everybody. Um, but you want to be able to capture as many moments as possible. And so the the on the flip side, there are pictures that I have that I didn't take because the other guys took them. And so because we, you know, we combine all of our shots, that was there. But that's one of my biggest regrets. And two, and I think I said this in one other um, discussion, but the first day I took the golf too seriously. Like I put so much into my prep. Mm. And um, I think for me, just being a fair, still a fairly new golfer, when I got out there, the nerves were so bad. Um, <laughs> the first, I think my first uh, tee shot, um, I got over the water, but it faded right into a, a side hill lie, and I just duffed it, like, first shot. <laughs> and after that, I just started, like, slowly, like, kind of crumbling inside. And I just wish I had taken the golf less seriously and just enjoyed more of those first four rounds. I think after the first nine, I mean, because we got railroaded the first nine, and then after that, Matt and I started kind of clicking an alternate shot. Um, but those are things that you just, you, you know, you experience along the way. But I would literally say to guys, man, look, same thing Phil said, look around, like you are in paradise, enjoy every second of it. Cause the moment you pass through those gates, you're not coming back, man. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm similar where I wish I would have taken more pictures with our teammates and the zoo crew guys. Cause I've got hundreds and hundreds of pictures, uh, yeah. but I barely have any with the team yeah. and, yep. or the videos. I wish I would have included our teammates in the videos that I did, but um, related though, I almost wish I would have, I wouldn't have taken so many pictures and just paid attention more. Um, it's awesome because I can look back and I have all these pictures and, and anytime I look at them, I can remember exactly the scene. It just in vivid detail. And, but uh, I think I took away from the moment a little bit mm. and uh, wasn't in the moment enough at, on some occasions. I, I, the thing I always think about is uh, that my singles match against Newbarth, um, we were kind of going back and forth and we get to, I think, 15 or 16 and, and he's up on me. And I, I think to myself, I'm like, I haven't really been paying attention to my golf. I should knock it off for a little bit and actually, you know, put my phone down and <laughs> try to play yeah. golf here. And I was able to and, and focus a little bit better, but you get, you can get just wrapped up in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, it's it, a delicate balancing act. Absolutely. It is. But um, I will say one of the things I'm, I'm just so glad that we did was the last night we were there we all met up in my room and um, shot a video and just kind of talking about what the granddaddy meant to us. And literally to this day, that that video is so precious to me, man. Um, it was a lot. I'm not going <laughs> to. It was it was the last time we were all together and just kind of um, 
you know, all the all the emotions just kind of started coming out in the room. And so there's a lot of um, stuff that never got caught on the video that we just sat in there and talked for another hour. And it was it was probably one of the uh, funnest nights of my life, man, just sitting there with the guys, just really enjoying and kind of savoring uh, the granddaddy and what it all meant, you know, the night before we left. Mm -hmm. uh, just a super I'm I'm really, really glad we did that. And it was kind of, you know, originally I think I was gonna shoot another video for clothes and then um I was kind of talking with some of the guys and I would I wanted to get us all together and everybody came, everybody got in, and you know, it was just uh it was kind of mixed emotions, obviously it's bittersweet, but I'm so glad we did that. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, awesome. So one more one more question for y'all. I got a round tomorrow, just a fun round. Most of my rounds are fun. I don't do like any competition or tournaments or anything. If you could give somebody advice who's looking to be on the team or maybe is on the team and how they can use their rounds to prepare for being out there, anything that you would recommend? Any anything you, you would do differently during a round? Um, hit the ball straight. Have a good <laughs> short game. <laughs> Yeah, I don't say that seriously, thing. really. I mean, like yeah. we've talked about it a bunch of times. The golf, yes, you want to win, you want to play well. To Clayton's point, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to go out there and self implode because you're putting too much pressure on yourself. Yeah. Just go out and have fun. Just, I mean, do your best to improve leading up to it, but just the the important thing is to have fun. That, that's yeah, really yeah. all that matters. And I would say, like, even when you're grinding, I would just, man, I think a lot of times we're trying to figure out, um, ways to improve our game quickly man just get something re repeatable mm -hmm. um, and and just work on what's repeatable if you're playing a fade just play the fade man like don't try <laughs> and work yourself into a draw by december right. so, sure um and 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 the last thing is really just short game man those greens out there are so responsive mm -hmm. um if you can play your, your short game and you can putt you'll be fine mm -hmm. everybody's gonna miss greens everybody's gonna miss fairways um, you know, nobody out there is getting paid to play. So there's some sharp shooters out there, but it doesn't matter, man. Just have fun and be able to move the ball forward. But really, short game was literally everything mm -hmm. out there. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And don't stand to the to the side of somebody when they're <laughs> taking wedge shots <laughs> at ECPC. <laughs> what, sure. What's one more concussion? That's, not a concussion. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, man. I, I feel like they need to, to put hard hats in the bunkers out there, man. Uh, they're just they're they're kind of in line with the with the driving range. So, man, somebody hits a a low <laughs> burner, man. It's it's yeah. gonna be you got to duck and cover, man. Yeah. So, I will tell you this too: the sand out there is not normal. So, uh, <laughs> it's not. It's, it's nice it's, sand. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's fluffy pixie dust, man. So, um, you know, you guys, you, you know, practice bunker shots, but again, yeah. it's 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 uh it's important, but it's not yeah. to an extent. So, just have awesome. fun. So I I can tell you, I think we told Mike this too. I mean. Us looking from the outside this year, you guys are off to such a good start. Having you as the captain, Absolutely. Mike, Mike, and Mike coming up. Mike is the the assistant captain. Big Sky is a great guy. I had a chance to meet him before. You guys are off to a great start. You're fantastic start. We're we're all so happy how this, the team is shaping up, and we can't wait to watch you guys and follow along this year. Well, I and and I'll I will say there have been some very very nice things said. It it means a ton. It, it really does mean a ton when when anybody shows the support. Um, I, I didn't know that it would mean as much as it does, you know, to yeah. hear people say, you know, um, you know we got your back. You know, we're, we're so excited. You know, we're happy for you. Teams off to a great start. Any of that kind of stuff. It doesn't fall on deaf ears. It's not just a throwaway sentence. I mean, I can speak for me and, and the two mics and I'm sure all the other teammates that we're going to have. It means so much to know that this forum who you know may not ever get to experience that i mean you know it's it's such a small group of people that get to still can be that happy for you and and supportive of you is 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 tremendous so thank you to you guys thank you to everybody that said anything on the on the forums about it and um we're we're going to have an amazing time bring everybody with us and and do this event the right way awesome man yeah. Well, listen. Thanks for making time. We got to get some time scheduled with uh, Big Irish. I haven't uh, had had a chance to meet him yet, so that's going to be. What, did I really just scratch my hat? Like my <laughs> head was itching underneath the hat, and I went for it. And 
<laughs> uh, I haven't had a chance to meet him, but I'm really excited. So we'll try and get some time scheduled with him. And hopefully um, we want to use this as a way to kind of help the the forum meet the team as as, uh, as much as possible. And, man, you guys are joining a great fraternity. Um, you know, we, we were able to join um, and follow in the footsteps of some just some fantastic TH peers and uh, become a part of something special. So... Uh, congratulations again to you, man. And looking forward to what you guys have. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all's time. All yep. right, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs>